Uh, Lewis, thank you for a $10 super chat. I shouldn't power my GoPro 10 bones directly from a 5-volt pad on my Cinebot 3.0, right? The bones can pull 5-volt 1 amp, and the Becca is only 5-volt 1 amp, and the quad already has LEDs and a receiver on the 5-volt pads. You are 1,000% correct, Lewis. Um, so I generally don't trust the amp rating on a voltage regulator. Now, there are some exceptions, like I know for a fact that iFlate buys voltage regulators that are rated for three amps. I, I don't know if they buy them or if they design them, but the, the voltage regulators iFlate uses would be rated for three amps. If they were sold anywhere else, iFlate rates them for two amps. iFlate intentionally derates their voltage regulators so that when they say two amps, by God, you're going to get two amps, maybe a little bit more off it. Good for iFlate. That's, that's a real mensch thing to do. But most of the time, when a when a, a vendor says that they're giving you a one amp voltage regulator, that's like under you know in the freezer, <laughs> right? It's under optimal conditions, and real world conditions are not as good as that. So if I had a one amp regulator, I might pull a half an amp or three quarters of an amp, and I probably would never want to run it right at one amp, and I certainly would never exceed one amp. So definitely, I would I would not run the go to pro 10 bones off a one amp regulator on an AIO. Uh, I would, I would use a separate uh, power source for the GoPro bones, hundred percent. 